come to the island of Sodor, and with Christmas just a few days away, the Fat Controller's engines were all kept busy with the extra passengers and deliveries the holidays bring. While most of the engines went about their work with smiles on their faces, there was someone who wasn't feeling so merry. That someone was Marion, the self-propelled steam shovel. She had been awake for hours clearing snow around the clay pits. There are very few things I dislike, but snow is one of my most hated of things. Every year I'm woken up in the early hours of the morning to venture out in the freezing cold to clear it. My shovel was made for digging rocks and clay, not snow. It'll get frostbite by the time I'm finished. Thomas is right. Snow is silly soft stuff. What engine can enjoy it? Sure, the children can build snowmen, make snow angels, ride in sledges and have snowball fights, but it wreaks havoc for a railway. The lines get blocked, engines get stuck and trains get delayed. It's all one big nuisance. Just then, Marion saw the manager of the clay pits approaching. Morning, Marion. Thank you for clearing the tracks around here. You've done a grand job. Thank you, sir. Now, I know how much you hate snow, but I'm afraid I have another job for you. I've just been on the phone with the Fat Controller, and he's asked if you can go and clear the tracks near Vickerstown Bridge. Oh, but sir, does it have to be me? I've been up since before the sun rose clearing snow. My poor shovel is freezing. I know, Marion, and I'm really sorry about this. Dold and Douglas usually clear the main line, but they're still up in Scotland. If the lines aren't cleared, people can't travel between Sodor and the mainland. They won't get home to their families in time for Christmas. I suppose you're right. I mustn't let anyone down. I'll head out right away. Thank you, Marion. You're doing everyone a huge favour. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some phone calls to make. Take care now. Marion was upset, but she knew her job was important. Oh, look then. It's Marion. Been having fun in the snow? No, I most certainly have not. While you three have been sleeping, I've been cleaning the tracks for you. Oh dear. Well, at least you're finished now. No, I'm not, actually. The Fat Controller wants me to clear the tracks near Vickerstown now. I shall be gone for most of the day, I imagine. While I'm gone, I want you two to be on your best behaviour. Ice and snow are no joke, and can cause a serious accident if proper care is not taken. Don't worry, Marion. We won't be playing any tricks, will we, Ben? That's right, Bill. No tricks at all. Especially none on Timothy. Especially not on Timothy. Right, i best be going. I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye, Marion. Bye-bye. And watch out for Jack Frost. Oh, the abominable snowman. <laughs> There you are, you two. Listen, the manager wants us all back at our shed. He wants to talk to us. Okay, Timothy, lead the way. The three engines made their way to the shed. Thank you all for coming back. Now listen, you all probably know by now that I've sent Marion off to clear snow near Vigastown at the request of the Fat Controller. Poor Marion. I know how much she hates snow. Yes, well, the thing is, I fibbed a little. So, Marion hasn't gone to Vickerstown, then? Where is she going, then? No, 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 she has, but the Fat Controller didn't exactly ask for her. I sort of, how should I say, volunteered her. Volunteered? But why, sir? Because, Timothy, we're going to have a special surprise Christmas party for her. We've never properly celebrated Christmas here before because we didn't have the time or money to do so. But this year I've gone the extra mile, because I want to show Marion how much we appreciate what she's done. Of course this Christmas party is as much for you three as it is for her, but I wanted to do something special for her. So you see I had to find some way of getting her away from the clay pits while we put up the decorations. And that's where you three come in. Of course sir. What can we do? Well, Ben, I need you to collect the decorations for Brendan Docks. And I need you, Bill, to go to Wellsworth and pick up the workmen to help put them up. What about me, sir? Ah, oh, Timothy, I've saved the most important job for you. I want you to meet Duck at Tidna Station to collect... Well, I'll leave it as a surprise. Just bring it back here in good time. Yes, sir, you can count on me. 
You can count on me too, sir. And me. Excellent. Thank you all. Now off you go and take care, especially you, Timothy. So the three China Clay engines set off together on their important missions. As they pass through Brendan Docks, Bill and Timothy whistle goodbye to Ben, who stopped to wait for his trucks. Ahoy there, me hearty! Your train be shipshape and ready for departure! Thanks, Salty. I better get it back quickly. As Bill and Timothy entered Wellsworth, they whistled goodbye to each other. Bye, Timothy. Good luck. Thanks, Bill. See you back at the clay pits. The workmen were waiting on the platform, and as soon as Bill was coupled up, he took them back to the clay pits. Timothy was now on his own. He'd never been to Tidmouth before and couldn't wait to see his special delivery. On the other side of the island, workmen were clearing the tracks of snow in the countryside just beyond Vickerstown Station. The foreman was supervising the work. Hmm? Ah, Marion! Thank goodness you made it! It's no problem, sir. Thank you for coming to help. I know you don't like snow, but we have to get these lines clear. Otherwise, we can't transport passengers and goods between Sodor and the mainland. I know. Don't worry, sir. I'll have these tracks cleared in no time. And with that, Marion set to work. Meanwhile, Timothy had arrived at Tidmouth and was in awe at the sight of the station and all the hustle and bustle. As he was looking around, Doc pulled in with a special delivery. <gasps> wow, it's a Christmas tree! Yeah, indeed it is. Only the best from Tidmouth. Thanks, Duck. I can't wait for the others to see it. You'd better get a move on then. I've heard a blizzard is to be expected later, and this tree is quite heavy. Thanks for the warning. I'll get going as soon as I can. Take care now, Timothy, and good luck. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Right, let's get turned around and head for home. I wonder how the decorating is going. Back at the clay pits, the decorating was well underway. Tinsel, lights and wreaths were being put up on the sheds, and there was even to be a big banner that read Merry Christmas hung across the shed. The manager was trying to decide the best place to put the Christmas tree. Hmm, maybe here? Or over there, perhaps? No, I think over here. Oh, I don't know. Are you alright, sir? Yes, thank you, Bill. I'm trying to find the perfect place to put the tree when it arrives. What do you think? I think it should go next to our shed, so we can see it. I've got a better idea. Why not put it next to Marion's shed? It's her party after all. That's a wonderful idea, Ben. Why didn't I think of it before? Thank you both. Keep up the good work. This place is going to look great when Marion gets here. If she gets here, that is. What do you mean, if she gets here, Bill? Look at the clouds, Ben. I think it's going to start snowing soon. You may be right, Bill. Let's hope that Marion and Timothy make it back before it does start. Timothy was now halfway between Tidmouth and Wellsworth. The big Christmas tree was very heavy, and the icy rails made his journey even harder. Worse still, he'd also seen the dark clouds above and was starting to worry. I hope I make it back in time and before it starts snowing. I don't want to let everyone down. Oh, come on, Timothy. You can do it. Back at Vickerstown, Marion had finally finished clearing the tracks. The workmen cheered to a job well done. Marion felt very pleased with herself. Ah, oh, thank goodness that's done. Now I can go back home for a well-deserved rest. The foreman was very pleased too. Excellent work, Marion. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the Fat Controller. We're all very grateful for your help. Thank you, sir. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll be off. I can't wait to get home and see everyone. Goodbye, and Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you too, Marion, and take care now! As Marion headed back to the clay pits, she saw the darkening sky. 
Then, the first snowflakes began to fall. At the clay pits, the decorations had all been put up, but by now the snow had gotten heavier and it had gotten dark. Bill and Ben were in their shed, worrying about their friends. I do hope they're both alright. Don't worry, Bill. I'm sure they're on their way back right now. I don't understand it. Timothy should have been back ages ago. We still need to put up and decorate the tree. Where is he? Timothy was just outside of Brendam, but was severely struggling to keep going. The snow was getting harder and harder to puff through. Must keep going. Must deliver the tree. He did his best, but the snow got too deep and he could go no further. I can't go on. I've let everyone down. Looks like I'll be spending Christmas out here. Looks like we'll have to cancel the party. I don't think Marion nor Timothy will be back tonight. I just hope they're both alright. Oh dear. Is there anything we can- Shh! Don't shush me, Bess. Shh, Bill. Listen. Oh, am I glad to be home. Oh, what's going on here? Have you been decorating while I was away? Oh, Marion, thank goodness you're okay. I'm sorry, this was supposed to be a special surprise Christmas party for you, but Timothy hasn't returned and with the snow and- Wait, Timothy hasn't come back? Where is he then? He went to fetch the Christmas tree. That's right, but he was supposed to be back ages ago. But that means he could be stuck in the snow somewhere. I have to rescue him. But Marion, it's too dangerous in a blizzard like this. And you hate snow. I don't care. My friend is in trouble and sitting around here isn't going to bring him back. I'm going, with or without you, sir. But Marion, uh... Wait, Marion, uh... Oh, be careful, Marion. Marion battled her way through the blizzard, determined to rescue her friend. Timothy! Timothy! Uh, hello? M -m Marion? Timothy! Oh, thank goodness I found you. Don't worry, I'm here to take you home. Oh, m -m -m Marion, f -f 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 thank you s -s so m -m -m much. It took a lot of hard work, but at last Timothy was free, and Marion pulled him all the way back to the clay pits. Thankfully the snow died down. Bill, Ben and the clay pit manager were waiting and hoping for Marion and Timothy to return. Then they heard the most wonderful sound. Marion! Timothy! Marion! Timothy! Oh, am I glad to see you two! Are you both alright? Fine, sir! Even better now I'm home! I'm sorry I ruined the party. You didn't ruin anything, Timothy. It was my fault. I shouldn't have sent you to collect the tree on your own. Uh, excuse me, but what's this about a party? Oh, Marion, I owe you an apology too. The Fat Controller didn't ask for you today. I volunteered you so we could organise this party to thank you for your hard work and clearing the tracks for us. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you all. You really did all this for me? Yeah, of course we did. We may not show it, but we all greatly appreciate what you've done for us. And braving a blizzard on your own to rescue me? When you hate snow and being cold? I still don't know what to say. Neither do I, Timothy. The fact you went through all this trouble just for me has made this the best Christmas ever. I'm only sorry it's too late to have the party now. Well, that may be, but it doesn't mean we can't still set up the tree. What do you say? Before long, the tree was put up and decorated and it looked beautiful. Timothy's firebox had been lit and he was now toasty warm whilst telling everyone what had happened. Everyone was having a wonderful evening. <clears throat> I'd like to say a few words on this lovely evening. 
First off, I'd like to thank you all for your help in preparing this party, despite not going exactly to plan. But in particular, I'd like to thank Mariam for clearing the tracks around the clay pits every morning, allowing for the remainder of my hard work and engines to come out of their sheds. I know it wasn't pleasant work for you, but we all appreciate it very much. Merry Christmas, Marian. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Marian. Marian. Thank you all, but I can't take all the credit. You work just as hard as I do, and I couldn't ask for a better team to work with. We really do make a great team, don't we? As the party came to a close, the Claypit manager and all the workmen headed for home, while the engines settled down for sleep. As Marion closed her eyes, she had only one thing on her mind. How all of her dearest friends had made this the best Christmas she'd ever had.